team's Insert Valve technology is the most versatile, cost-effective, and safe manner to tie in a new piping system without disruption of service. This animation goes beyond putting a valve in a live piping system. It features a downstream capital improvement project, a mechanical joint cut and sleeve, and pipe upsizing. New infrastructure has been installed and tested. The insert valve accommodates varying pipe sizes, allowing older, smaller diameter piping systems to connect to new, larger diameter piping. Split upsizers are attached, and the valve body is attached to the upsizers. Proper support is given to the valve. One option is to pour a concrete thrust restraint. The isolation valve is attached and the tapping machine is mounted to the isolation valve. In a matter of minutes, the tapping machine has extracted a section of pipe and obtained the coupon. The shell cutter is designed to allow flow during the tapping procedure. It's important to note the tapping machine bisects the pipe. This makes the pipe and valve two separate components. Next, the shell cutter with coupon is retracted. The isolation valve is closed and the tapping machine is removed. The coupon is removed from the shell cutter. The inspection vacuum tool is attached and the isolation valve is opened. Inspect the bottom of the valve and remove any shavings. This assures the owner of a clean valve seat. Close the isolation valve and remove the inspection tool. The valve bonnet is now placed inside the insertion tool. The insertion tool is mounted to the isolation valve. Open the isolation valve. Advance the valve bonnet into the valve body. Through an internal equalization process, the bonnet can safely be advanced into the valve body. Mechanically advance the set pins of the valve body into the registration points of the valve bonnet. Remove the insertion tool and the isolation valve. The final bonnet gasket and ring is attached. A permanent ductile iron valve has just been successfully installed into the infrastructure without system interruption or loss of pressure. Since the host pipe is not a permanent component of the insert valve, the downstream pipe can be removed for upsizing. Remove the old, smaller pipe. Notice the spigot end of the bend assembly slides into the cut-in feature of the insert valve. Align the bell onto the new pipe. Slide the bell assembly back and affix the restraint glands. Install a valve box and establish service. Tap into our expertise and see how the versatility of the team insert valve can be the right solution for simple or complex capital improvement projects. If you would like more information, please call TEAM at 1-800-662-8326.